Hello. Today we'll learn about using edit frame to solve some editing problems with rendering variants. So you recall that in one of my earlier videos that I have created a rendering variant for an author and it even gives me the ability to edit some of the fields. So the author, just to remind, is going through a reference to the authors that I have in my uh, author field. So if I save that, I've added David to authors, I can edit both my fields and David's fields. However, this field I cannot edit. Uh, and why is that? This is because it renders the author information by going through related media field in author and then rendering them responsive responsively. This is linked through the related media multilist field. So I would like to give my author to, uh, the ability to add those additional images to uh, to the author that does not really exist uh, on this page. So to do that, I can use the edit frame within rendering variants. And I'm going to do that now. So if you look at my rendering variants, it goes through the author field and renders the author and then through the related media field in the author, renders a small wrapper and then going through the related media field, it renders the image. Now, to be able to edit the author, I need to add an edit frame. So I'm going to add the edit frame. Actually, we don't have it in the insert options, but there is an easy, way, easy enough way to do this. I'm going to add the edit frame here. And I'm going to call it edit author. And I'm going to drop it in authors uh, under authors reference so that every author has this edit frame rendered for them. Now I will move all of the rendering elements of that author. And for the edit frame, I need to select buttons. Okay, so the button sets here don't yet have what I need. And they are located uh, somewhere within the core database. So I have uh, opened this location in another browser to switch us from having to switch the database and look for it. They are located under Sitecore Content Application Web Edit Edit Frame Buttons. And you can see that SXA defines quite a few different buttons here. Uh, for the sake of uh, my exercise, I'm just going to copy the properties from uh, another uh, edit frame that we already have defined. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to call it edit author. And in my edit author, I'm going to change the edit information. Uh, so edit author main fields. I'm going to pick a nice icon for it. I've already have one here and I'm going to select the fields that I need to edit. So for those fields, I should go into the author and decide which fields I want to edit. So I want to edit the first name, the last name, bio, picture, and related media. This is the 
whole point of this exercise. So I'm going to switch back here and I'm going to say picture and first name. So we're basically listing the fields in here. We're separating the fields names with pipes. Last name bio and related media which is the meat of the exercise. Okay, so we have the edit author, we have the edit, uh, we have the edit uh, author um, uh, button list and the edit button defined. Now we can go back to our rendering variant and for our edit author we can pick the edit author button set. Now let's go to the page and let's see what will happen when I reload the page. When I click on the author you can see that I have a new experience toolbar with my author button and when I click that author button I can now edit the related media. So I can pick additional images for my author. Save that. And you can see that I have two more items in here. Now, edit frames can do much more than just uh, edit buttons. If you would go and explore uh, the um, uh, the buttons that we have defined in SXA already you can find out uh, other uh, possibilities for now we've achieved what we needed and now our authors can edit the related media for the author on the page for every author and you can see if I go to another author I can edit David's properties that's it for edit frames Thank you.